Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to GIS World channel. Today I would like to show you how we can have some changes in the attribute table in QGIS or uh, copy one uh, the attribute table from one layer to another layer. So let's check it. Uh, for example, we have one parcel uh, info layer here, and if I just open the attribute table, you see the attribute table, we have the parcel number, order, price, and some other uh, columns, and if I just come here to the properties and to che check the fields, you see we have the type, uh, for example, this is the integer here for the parcel number, and we have the length, and for example, for the order, we have the type name is the string. And it is possible we make some mistake. And if I just, uh, you know, the, this toggle editing mode, I activate this one, uh, we cannot change the here the type name. We can have some some alias or the name, changing the name or adding the new fields, but it's not possible. Or even to change the order of the uh, columns. So what we can do, you know, the, the solution is the refactor fields. And if I just come here in the processing tools and just R, E, F, and you, you see in the vector table, refactor fields will be coming, and if you just activate it, just double click, it will be open this tool. So here we see the input layer here, exper uh, source expression, name, type, lens, and uh, as I said, uh, for example, for the uh, parcel number, I did a mistake, and I would like to have it as a text, a string. And even for the order, I would like to have it as an integer, for example, uh, 64 bit. And I would like to see the order uh, here after parcel number. And even you can you know, change the uh, order of your uh, columns. And here even it's written this algorithm allows editing the structure of the attribute table of the vector layers field can be modified, their type, name, and using field mapping. And the good things about these uh, refactor fields is that, that you are creating the new shape layer, new layer, and your original uh, layer, it won't be changed. So it means if you make any mistake and you can keep uh, your uh, original file. And even you, you have this option, you know, to add a new field even here, and let's try it. Uh, I would like to consider it as a sold out. For example, if this uh, parcel is uh, sold out on Bolin here, and if I just here, let's see if the fields and value, if the price is uh, 25 euros, Okay, it will be true, and if I just run, so let's check it. And this, this is the new result, and if I just open the attribute table, so we have the parcel number at the beginning, that's good, and after that we have the order, and so it means we, ch we, we change the order of the columns, and after that this, uh, this sold out has been added into the attribute table with the correct information, if the price is the 25 euros, it will be true, and if for the rest it will be false, so it means you can even change it according to your uh, interest, and after that, if I just check it in the properties, in the fields, you see right now the parcel number instead of the integer is the string and the order instead of the string is the integer. So we change the type name and after that you can just save this layer into the sh as a shape file or the JSON. So it means you have the new layer here with the uh, same attribute with, and with the, some small changes or even the big changes and even you can keep your original files here. I hope you enjoy from this video and if you have any suggestion or recommendation or you, if you have some, some other option uh, to solve this uh, problem or this motivation, please write it down in the comment section to, to see what is your idea. Thanks a lot and see you soon again.